Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about if narcissists know that you are stuck in a trauma bond. Are they aware of it or are they just completely oblivious to it? Please give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Do narcissists know you are stuck in a trauma bond? The trauma bond is where you form a strong emotional attachment to the narcissist, which develops out of the repeated cycles of abuse, devaluation, and positive reinforcement to where you begin to develop sympathy, affection, and a sense of loyalty to the narcissist, when in fact, it's just a trauma bond. It only happens because you feel confused, scared, and dependent on the narcissist, because they may have made it difficult for you to leave them, which results in you becoming trauma bonded, because you're being abused, but then you also can't leave. So you then begin to feel connected to the narcissist. You begin to bond over trauma whenever you have severe emotional experiences. Trauma bonding works by creating a cycle of trauma and a positive reinforcement. The narcissist emotionally abuses and manipulates you and then love bombs you to make you confused and dependent on them, which may bring up many complicated emotions that can be difficult to interpret, but it will cause you to feel bonded to the narcissist. And you may even convince yourself that it is love because it is very difficult for you to understand their experience. So you assume that they're upset and that they will change. Or you may remember the false character they displayed to you before they began abusing you so then you get stuck in this cycle of abuse and positive reinforcement. And it may even cause you to return to the narcissist, even though you know that you are being mistreated. But does the narcissist know that you are stuck in a trauma bond? And do they know that they have created it? Do they know that they have constructed and formed ideas and theories by bringing together various mental concepts? Do they know that they have combined and arranged different parts to form certain elements or components? Do they know that they have invented or produced something false in order to deceive you and in order to latch on to you and stay close to you and to continue spending a lot of time with you and to keep you in the relationship? Do they know that they have trauma bonded you to themselves? Is it intentional and deliberate? From a logical standpoint, you may know that you don't want the narcissist, but emotionally, you may still want to interact with them and you may still want to be with them because they have rewired your mind based on thoughts, actions and feelings they know that they are making a bond. They know that they are creating this connection based on shared feelings, interests or experiences. But they may not know that they are making a trauma bond because trauma is very familiar to them. So to them, it's just a connection with another person. They're not seeing it as trauma. They're not seeing it as being something negative. They're just trying to build a connection with you. They're trying to keep you in their life because they don't want to lose you. But in order for them to connect to you, they have to manipulate you because if they were genuine, you wouldn't be interested in them, which is why they will connect to you by any means necessary. They will groom and condition you. They will act like they like the same music or movies as you. 
even though they never liked those things before, and they won't like them after. But they will magically like what you like, just for you, when in reality, they don't have any interest in it at all. Sometimes people can develop a liking for something that they didn't know they liked before. But the narcissist is grooming you, so they remain detached from those experiences. Which means that they're not able to develop a liking for anything. They will transform it so that it gradually becomes a part of their mask. But that's only to groom you. Which is why if they leave you, they will go and like something completely different. And then they may tell you that they never liked that. Because they're only pretending to like what you like. Which is why once they know that what you're interested in, they will secretly watch or listen to it. But they don't actually know anything about what they're talking about. They're just using it to develop this mask. So that they can build a connection really fast. Which may cause you to express surprise or admiration. Because then you believe that you have a lot of common in with this person. When really you don't have anything in common. They just invented it. In order to deceive you. And this isn't the only way they make a bond. They may also bond with you over your insecurities and vulnerabilities. They may mirror you because they want to look the same as you. So they may act like they share the same difficulties or struggles as you do. Because then that may seem more attractive to you. But they're actually not able to be vulnerable. They cannot put themselves in a position where another person can hurt them. They cannot express the sides of themselves of which they have the least confidence or certainty. They cannot open up. They cannot be willing to love or be loved. They can't do any of that because they're weak. They're easily hurt. So they've spent their entire life covering up their emotions. They may not even know what vulnerability is. They may have some idea from what they've seen in other people or in movies. And they may seem to replicate these behaviours at least on the surface. But it comes across as being manipulative or needy. Which is actually the opposite of vulnerability. Because they cannot be vulnerable. They cannot express their thoughts, feelings, desires and opinions because they're extremely worried about what you might think of them. Which is why they can't compliment you. They can't express how they feel. They can't put themselves in a position where they could be rejected because they're afraid of offending people. They're afraid of turning people off. Which is why they may deliberately offend you kill the mood, ruin the atmosphere, because they feel uncomfortable in that space. It threatens their tough exterior. It makes them feel insecure. It causes them to feel exposed to the possibility of emotional harm. But ironically, it actually leads them to more harm and problems in the long run. And it's why relationships always fail with narcissists. Because they do not have sympathy or empathy. But they are masters at manipulating people. They will make you think you're soulmates. And they will make you think that they've never been this way with anyone before. Until you think you've met this perfect person. Because they're grooming you. Which is a really bad thing to do. They're training you to be a certain way. They're making you subservient to them so that you're more willing to do what they want while considering your wishes as less important and then you're stuck in a relationship which is harmful to you. But they may not realise that they are grooming you. They may not realise that they are turning you into what they want you to be. They're just thinking about what you're going to be and do for them. While they're also trying to build this character in you. So they may not even realise what they're actually doing. Because they're gaslighting themselves. 
which is why they believe that nothing is ever their fault. So they're not thinking that they're doing anything wrong. They may think it's love or connection, which is why they will do whatever they can to build a connection so that they can get you and keep you because that is their vision of love. To them, love is control, even though it destroys every relationship they're in because they see love as protecting, which is why they will control everything you do, everyone you see and everywhere you go. But they're not thinking that they're grooming you. They see it as though they're developing a connection and then they're trying to lock you in because they don't want to be alone. So they will latch on to you to avoid being rejected. They will try to spend every minute of the day with you to prevent you from leaving or rejecting them. But then they may disengage once they found someone else and they may pe keep people around just so they don't have to feel their shame. They may trap you in a relationship that you don't want to begin. They may hold on to you for their lives because if you leave, then they're left to deal with their shame, which is why they will do anything they can to keep you stuck. They will manipulate you, they will groom you, they will make a trauma bond. They will do anything they can to keep you in their life so that they don't have to deal with their shame, so that they can feel better about themselves and often by bringing you down to their level so that they appear more normal to everyone else. Their focus is always on themselves and no one else. So they do not know that you are stuck in a trauma bond. They just know that they want to keep you as a source of supply. And they want to prevent you from leaving and shaming them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.